What's up everybody, Manny Ortiz here, and I'm gonna tell you guys my top five reasons for choosing the Dell XPS 15 over the MacBook Pro for my photo and video editing. Let's go. Before I start this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for making this video happen. I personally love the minimalistic look of their templates. Their award-winning customer service is there 24-7. Squarespace makes it so easy for you to make your own website. You don't need to be a graphic or web designer. Anyone can do it. So I suggest you head over to squarespace.com, use the coupon code Manny, and you will get 10% off. So recently, I've been in the market for a new laptop. Something I can edit 4K video and something that's small and portable enough where I can take it with me wherever I go because I'm usually never home when I edit. So I am a Mac and PC user right now. Here's my 5K 27 inch Mac right behind me. Like I said, I rarely use it because I'm, I'm never home. And I also have the Dell XPS 13, which is it's a spec'd out 13 inch laptop where I can edit 1080p video and my photos, but not 4K. So that's where the problem lies. So I need a 15 inch laptop with a GPU. I narrowed it down to the MacBook and the Dell XPS 15. And here are the top five reasons why I chose the Dell XPS 15. Reason number one is the price. The Dell XPS with the i7 KB Lake processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, and the 1050 NVIDIA chip inside costs roughly $1,000 less than the MacBook Pro with the equivalent specs. That's crazy. Like if, if I was a diehard Mac user, I could probably justify getting the Mac. But since I actually like Windows and Mac, I couldn't find a reason to justify spending a thousand dollars just to get the MacBook. I couldn't do it. So price played a huge factor in this decision. Number two, why I picked the Dell XPS is for the ports. Now, what's crazy is the MacBook being a thousand dollars more expensive requires you to buy adapters and dongles. And the worst part of it is to keep track of them because my Microsoft Surface 3 that I have laying around here. Um, I needed a USB to SD card adapter. Now, let me tell you that there were many times where I went editing and I forgot that adapter at home or just misplaced it and I just lost my mind. Um, I think that having an SD card slot is the most essential slot for a photographer and videographer. The Dell XPS has it. It also has a Thunderbolt 3 HDMI and two USB ports. Um, I think that um, I, I'm not ready for that dongle life again. I'm not. And I, I think that uh, some people might think that you're going to be responsible. You're going to keep one on your back, keep one at home. But they're gonna, there's going to be a time where you're not going to have it. And it's just going to annoy you so bad. Um, like I said, I'm not, just, I'm not ready for the dongle life. I'm going to try to stay away from it as long as possible. Uh, I love the fact that the Dell has all the ports I need as a photographer and videographer. Reason number three is the ability to upgrade. Now, when you buy the MacBook at $2,700, you're not actually able to upgrade the RAM or the SSD. What you buy is what you get. With the Dell XPS 15, you're actually able to upgrade the RAM, the SSD, and uh, even though I'm not big on upgrading my computers, I'm not tech savvy like that, I have a lot of friends that are, and if I ever needed it, I could do it. So that's a big win for the PC. Number four is the touchscreen on the Dell XPS. I know a lot of people are not fond of touchscreens on their computers. They don't like fingerprints, but I truly love using the touchscreen on a computer. The Surface Pro 3 got me hooked on touchscreen, and I don't think I could ever have a laptop without it. Number five is the NVIDIA 1050 chip that is inside the Dell XPS 15. Um, I've edited 4K video from my A7R2, my A6500, RX100, DJI Mavic, all my cameras, and the, ca the computer never had a hiccup uh, when editing in Adobe Premiere. And also the rendering times are really, really impressive. So um, this has kind of sealed the deal for me. It's just an all-in-one package, and I so far have been extremely happy with the Dell XPS. I want you guys to keep something in mind. You know, I've been using Mac and, and Windows for a long time. Um, I truly don't have a preference. I like them both for their strengths. They both have weaknesses. Um, and there's some reasons that really entice me to get the MacBook. For the most part, I've had less problems with my Mac products than my PC. Um, Mac is not perfect. I've had a screen go out on me in my 2013 MacBook, but it was quickly fixed. 
and since then I really haven't had any problems with any of my other MacBook, my Mac products like this guy here, no problems at all. Um, my PC, I, I, I once in a while get hiccups here and there, little glitches, not a deal breaker, it just comes with the territory. I really like how Apple products are more resistant to getting viruses. Now I have gotten viruses on my Mac products before, but it doesn't happen as often as it does with PC. The biggest reasons why I, I really wanted that MacBook was the ability to use Final Cut Pro. Now, I am a Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere user. I like both for their own reasons, um, and I like having that option where I can kind of choose which one I want to use, but you know, with PC, you only have, I can only use Premiere, and um, yeah, but I mean, is that worth a thousand dollars? No, it's not. Everybody, those are the top five reasons why I chose the Dell XPS 15 over the MacBook Pro. Now, if you have the money and you want to stay in the Apple ecosystem, you're not going to go wrong with the MacBook Pro. You're not. But if you're like me and you know you can't really justify the price difference, you're not going to be disappointed with the Dell XPS. Um, I know a lot of people out there are in the same shoes as me right now. So um, I hope I helped you with your decision. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of photography and photo shoot tutorials. So uh, stay tuned for more of those. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.